this air rifle is going to be my next project. I got it given a few months ago and it needs like a bit restore work done to it. It's all complete. It's, uh, it hasn't, I can't see any name on it, but it, there is a heavy lot of paint work on it. Someone has painted it. And I'm just trying to get the camera on it properly because it's quite long. That is, that's slack in there. But there is a couple of screws on the end. I'll just. That comes to bits, and you can get to the main screw. What bolts it to the. What bolts it into there. And there's a, there's a bit of play between there. It needs new seals. But you, you load it by pressing that, and there comes a part like that. But you can, you can hear the, the slackness on it. I haven't fired it, <coughs> but it's probably going to, it's still got quite a bit of power because uh, the person who I got it off, who did show us it working at the time, that's where the spring is in there and the piston, but I am going to be taking it all to bits and doing the, the work on the trigger and stuff like that, as you can see the trigger is like up, I don't know if it goes down when you load it, I can't remember, it just seems quite high the way it is, but it's like a bit of a hex hexagonal type shaped barrel there, down halfway, and then it goes to a smooth. And it's still got the original field sight on there, and there's a bit of a... That thing what you press there, to unload it, well to, to load it, that's uh, the front side, or the back side I should say. There's no way to put any telescopic sights on. It's that old. Uh, but I'm sure the stock looks a bit like walnut or some other type of hardwood. But as you can see when you look at it closely, it's been painted quite a bit. They painted over the top of the rust by the look on it. But I am going to try and get all the new screws and pins, or even just take them to bits and try and do them properly. Clean it all up, do it properly. Gonna be my next little project, but the good thing about it is what I haven't. It's like I've got a few other rifles, but this one, as you can see there, that's the that's the point one seven seven, and I've got the usual point two twos. This rifle is a point two five, so it's like good for pest control stuff like that. It's a heavy hitting pellet. It's got a bit more, a bit more weight, a bit more punch behind it. So that, that's going to be my next project anyways. So yeah, my next video should be this restored, hopefully. But if anyone's got any ideas about what kind of regular it is, because I'm not too sure on the name, I, I'm probably just going to have to clean it all down to find the name or what make it is. I'm just, if anyone's got any ideas on what it is, well, somebody up there will know. They could just like drop us a bit of a message under the video and tell us because I'm not quite sure about the age and the, the age and the name but anyways, it is a nice rifle and I know it's upside down there but I'm just showing the other side of it it's a weird shape I think it'll be bent doesn't quite fit in the picture